whoever asking me how I stay in shape, just grab you one of those clippers, right? Just go up and down, like back and forth. I'm gonna tell you about how my dates have been actually without the video games, without the distractions and external factors that's been really holding me down. Every day has been blessed. And my energy is through the roof. It's like a thing where I just, I wake up, right? And it's like, I don't feel fatigued at all. It's like I got my good rest and I've been sleeping early because there's really nothing to do around like, I would say by the time nine, 10 hits, I don't see anything to do really. I have so much time to spare, man. It's a thing where I used to fill those gaps, let's say with a little bit of scrolling and video games itself after let's say a long day of this, a long day of that. I'm just happy to finally be able to enjoy every moment, to be in the moment. <laughs> And I actually got a new routine too. Waking up in the morning, I go out to the balcony, I get me some air, 15 minutes out there, come back in, do my Bible study. And this been happening just for the past couple of days I've been sick. Since I couldn't work out, so I literally had to just rest and stay here, right? I couldn't do anything. That was really bad at first in a way that I was not bored, but kind of love frustrated about it. Cause imagine not having to move, just do nothing, right? Just rest felt weak, I couldn't eat properly because you know, you gotta ease up into your regular food and stuff. So I, I had to stick with bland food. So I'm talking about some, how do I say this? Pasta, bland, bland food in a way, no taste, right? So I could have oatmeal, but it has to be with water and water only. So there was really nothing to it. And that, that really sucked, but I had to kind of, how do, how, do how do you do that? Just, you know, I had to shake it off and I had boiled eggs. That was the best part. I would say that happened for like about three days. After three days, I'm like, nah, I am not waiting a whole week for my digestive system to get back to normal. Cause you know, Dr. Google said so. You know, we all go to Google for anything. You're chilling and then a question pops up. You're running at your phone like, man, I need to know ASAP. Yeah, it was that type of vibe. But yeah, I've been patient to record this video finally and to ease up into my workout routine, which is gonna happen probably tomorrow. Life without video games is amazing. Whoever is out there that's still playing video games, I'm telling you, you would have so much passion for whatever you're doing when that is gone. And also whoever scrolls on their phone and stuff, trust me, it's worthless, man. Like you, you can hit on me if you want. I'm telling you from this perspective that, hey, I'm not saying I'm better than you, but it's an, it's an amazing feeling. You wake up motivated over the top. And whenever I think about these YouTube stuff, it's just, wow. I'm surprising myself with this stuff, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I just been looking at things differently now in the perspective of comparison, right? Comparison in the way that you, you watch another person's video and you get intimidated. I don't, that don't happen to me no more. It was a feeling I couldn't help before. Like I hop on YouTube, I see other dudes like, it's just, bro, like, how do you do that? You know what I mean? Now it's like a, hey, congrats. Keep going, like keep doing what you're doing and I'm doing what I'm doing. There's no comparison anymore in a way because what works for other people don't work for you, man. So we're all on our own timeline. There's, there's a time for everyone, but we all got space in this world to fulfill and succeed. That's exactly what my dad told me. There's not one time you're not gonna have a shot. We all got a shot, man. It's just whether you're willing to run after it and you might have a goal, right? But then you, you hit that goal, it might not feel yeah, you may be happy the first couple of minutes, but it passes, it passes so quick. But when you got a vision, that's bigger than anything. A vision is like how, how, what would you do in that moment when you receive what you wanna receive and how would you go on from there? And so nowadays I just wake up and I do exactly what I would be doing whenever I hit certain, you know, areas of my life. So I carry myself that way already and I see myself there, anything is possible, these type of things, so it's good on me lately. Every time there's a little doubt about what I'm doing, I'm like, nah, I shake it off, I kind of figure out where it comes from, and then attack it, you know what I'm saying? Kill it right there. But I could make something out of anything, and I love it. I'm really passionate about this stuff. It's not hard for me to, to just do this, you know? I can just flow into my own thing, no comparison going on, which is the best part ever. Like, you just know that people got to know you for you and not for what someone else did. Because whatever they did does not work for you, man. I already said that before, but it's really important to know this. What works for others don't work for you. So choose what works for you and keep doing it. Even if you fail, 
there's no such thing as failing on this YouTube stuff. You may get, let's say 500, 500 views on a video and then you post again, you get 600. That doesn't mean the previous video was trash. You know what I mean? So it's just like people will discover you later. And that's how I go about this. People will discover me later. And I just got to make sure to keep being me and to keep pushing because I know there's people watching me right now and they're going through my account. Like, how did I do it? How do I keep doing it? And I got to remain myself for them to, you know, get something out of it in order to improve themselves. And so that's how I, sh I shall keep going about this. I really used to also go through, even I still probably do, go through bigger creators' accounts and look and, and kind of see what type of flow they took and never copy nobody's flow because it's not going to work for you. It's all about you building your own audience and people that enjoy watching you. And that's it. I just, just, yeah, that's it. There's really no method, man. <laughs> I wish I could scream that in my face back in the day, which is like six months ago or even less, man. Like, hey, yo, there's no method when you do this. The only method is to keep uploading until you find your way. I know God is with me in all this. This faith I got, I'll never lose it. I'm gonna keep uploading these videos, keep going, inspiring random people. Cause hey, we got 3000 subscribers now. I don't even know 3000 people, man. It's just crazy to me seeing all these numbers just pop off. I mean, I'm, I'm used to it, right? I, I see it. I'm aware that if I post a video, there's going to be numbers. There's gonna be a point, there's gonna be greater numbers, but I never let that change my character. I never let that change who I am in a way. So just that, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm accepting the new norm. You feel me? Yeah, just everybody just chooses me. Like, why me? I pop up on your feed. There's so many YouTubers and you pick me. That just means a lot. And I will never forget these little details at all. Like, as I'm moving forward, I'm always like, these people chose to, to watch me, right? There's Mr. Beast, there's these guys, there's everybody else, but they chose to watch me today. That's always how I go about this. But yeah, thank y'all for real for all the support, the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I just gotta get back to editing this video and enjoy my time. Enjoy my time. Have a good one.